Nintendo. Hello, one and all, and welcome to Let's Play Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. I am the Max Few Trades, and I am very happy to bring this game to you guys. It has been way too long since we played Partners in Time. I have such a weird mentality about wanting to save games for later. I don't really know what the deal with that is. I should really just be playing the games that I want to play when I want to play them. But regardless of how long it's taken me to finally get to this, like, uh, I think it's been about seven years now. Oh boy. Uh, I am very, very happy to be able to finally play this for you all. It is a truly special game. And not just to me, but to a lot of people, honestly. It's widely considered one of, if not outright, the best Mario RPG ever made. It's basically this Thousand Year Door and the original Mario RPG on Super Nintendo. Those are those are basically the, the three ones that everyone says is the best one. And it's all just kind of a, a matter of semantics and perspective on whether or not you find one to be better than the others. I couldn't possibly make such a call. I have a lot of fond memories of, of Thousand Year Door and Inside Story, but basically it's kind of apples and oranges, all right? They're both RPGs, but they do a lot of things differently, and I'm gonna have a really fun time showing you just what all of those things are. There is just one little thing I want to talk about before we start proper. This is going to be kind of important. So... This game likes to bounce back and forth between the two screens quite often, and uh, I, I, with the way I have things set up, it, this is how I prefer to have it set up, because not one screen is going to be important every single moment, so that's why one screen is so much bigger than the other one. But in this one, it's gonna kind of flip-flop back and forth, so I actually am going to have to manually do this every time that happens. Now, Unquestionably, there's going to be a time when I accidentally forget to hit the button at some point, and I apologize in advance for that. I'm going to do my absolute best to prevent that from happening, but it's going to happen at some point. Regardless, that's more than enough pre-ramble. Let's have ourselves a big old pile of fun. Behold, Todd Town, land of the Todds. They're just chillin'. Doing their Todd thing. Ain't that delightful? I'm sure nothing horrible is about to take place. That would be silly. Mom, I'm home. Well, hi there, sweetie. Home early today, huh? I, I understand if some very silly jokes could be made about the fact that Peach's portrait is up there, but honestly, they the, the, the Toads really are just absolutely devoted to her as a monarch. My goodness. This single toad just wouldn't stop talking. Blah, blah, blah. So I snuck out and came home. Ye gods, I could probably get in trouble for that with law enforcement. You naughty little scamp. You'll never grow up into a fine toad with such bad behavior. Fine, mom, whatever. If I want to skip school, I'm going to skip school. I'm a rebel. So is dinner ready yet? Considering he said he skipped school, I can only assume it has to be bare minimum before 3 p.m. Who eats dinner before 3 p.m.? Yes, dear, it is. Who prepares dinner before 3 p.m.? These toads are weird, but call your dad before we eat. Okay, you know how hangry he gets. Dad, dinner's ready. Preposterously early, in fact, Dad. Whoa! What is it, dear? It's Dad! He's... SIGNIFICANTLY MORE BULBOUS THAN USUAL! No, He's just so fat! The Blords! Mushroom Kingdom marred by mysterious malady! The Blords! It comes without warning! First you balloon to blimp size, then the rolling! You roll away! Oh, the horror of the Blorbs! Do you have any idea how many toads have rolled over the mountain? We just can't find them. They're gone. We, who knows where they ended up? We can't look for them anymore. As of press time, the cause and cure are unknown. Day by day, the number of blorbed toads swells. And I'm going to be honest with you, that seems like a very insensitive way to report that. 
Seeing how grave the situation is, Princess Peach convenes an emergency meeting at her castle. That is such a rare occurrence in the Mario universe. Like, Peach actually doing, like, legitimate princess duties. So many games start with her, like, just kind of attending one of the Mushroom Kingdom's millions of festivals. But in this one, it's like, oh no, there's actually a nationwide crisis, and she, she needs to delegate proper action into all of the proper channels. It's kind of crazy. Oh, how absolutely wretched. Such a thing has never happened in the history of the kingdom. At least, not swelling of this magnitude. I mean, my foot the other day, maybe, but not like this. Soon the entire kingdom will get the blorbs. We gotta find the cause and get this place back to normal. Yeah, obviously, but we've never dealt with something like this. I have absolutely no idea what to do. I suggest we panic! I like the cut of this guy's jib. Pull yourself together, man! We have to do something! My son, he's also... He's also got the blorbs. Wow. That man thinking his pain is so much worse than everyone else's. Disgustin! Princess, we still await? Yes. We've sent word to the Star Sprites for help, but we've gotten no response. Who'd have thought try trying to communicate with Heaven would be so difficult? Pardon me! Expardon me, rather. Ah, glorious! I dare say our Star Sprite has arrived! Sorry I'm late. This castle's huge! And you've got, like, 50 rooms that have nothing in them but paintings, and if you touch them, you get transported to some other part of the world? Like, wh what is the deal with that? Why do you have that many? Princess, this thing is... What? Nice to meet ya! I'm Starlow! Peach sent word of trouble in the Mushroom Kingdom, so as a representative of the Star Sprites, here I am! Hello, Yellow! Adorable! Mercy! Such pep! Such verve! Such unswerving confidence! Soon, uh, so you'll be able to simply cure the blorbs then, correct? But, d do I look like I have a doctorate? I don't know nothing about that! Hmm. This is even beyond the power of a star sprite. Well, I did some research on similar afflictions, but the Blorbs is in a class of its own. It seems to be incurable. If we could just find a cause, we'd have a place to start. The medical staff did what we could to ease the swelling, which I'm going to be honest with you, considering how technologically advanced we are, that's mostly just warm towels over the forehead. We also tried shoving mega vitamins into their faces, and, you know, you, normally that causes everything to kind of get cleared up real fast, but for some reason it didn't work this time. As far as we can tell, we can't reverse the effects. <laughs> you docs gotta do something! This is a national emergency! <laughs> Thanks for the news, Flash! Obviously, we want to help! Psst. Who's that over there? <laughs> Dr. Toadley's intern. <laughs> Dr. Toadley? <laughs> He's a really famous doctor. He knows everything. He couldn't make it to today's meeting, so his intern is here. What on earth is more important than curing this, I can't even begin to understand, but he's not here. Huh. Well, I have many patients, so you'll have to excuse me. Hmm, well, yes, well, that was pointless. Blast. Doctors are stumped. The Star Sprite is helpless. To whom might we turn? Look, I'm really sorry, okay? I don't know why you had to put this all on me. There are some things that even a star sprite can't do. I guess we just give up, huh? <laughs> How insolent. Both of you, calm down. Yeah, what's wrong with you, Toadsworth? There is someone we can count on by Bogany. Dunny? Oh, quite right. Hope endures. So, uh, what's up? They're not here yet? The bros. I understand that Mario and Luigi have been able to help the kingdom in a wide variety of ways over the years, but how exactly do you expect them to help in this very specific situation? I guess Mario is technically a doctor, and so is Luigi, but considering the fact that three Goombas standing on top of each other wearing a trench, uh, you know, a lab coat is also considered a doctor, I think it's more likely just to assume that getting a medical license in the Mushroom Kingdom is preposterously easy. <laughs> Regardless, it him, and it also him. He ain't got his pants on yet. He's trying. It's a meeting, big meeting. You gotta hurry, please. Everyone's waiting, Mario, in the conference hall. Oh, Luigi came too. Super. Look, the conference hall is in back. Please hurry. Oh, but before you do, do you need an action icon refresher? Heck nah to the naw. Well, you're old pros, huh? Cool, get to it then. I mean, 
It basically begins and ends with hit the A and B button and make them do the hops. No major concerns over here, all right? My God, look at the size of that succulent. Granted, that's probably not what that specifically is, but I don't know. The alliteration just kind of called to me. I, I, don't, don't you judge me. I just want to take a look around, all right? Peach's castle is really neat in that it's never the same place twice, <laughs> except in very specific circumstances. Hey there, conference hall is just up ahead. Yep, everyone's in there, and I'm sure they're eager to see you. Of course, there are many toads working the grounds here, too. If you want to chat with anyone, you know the drill. Press A. You'll probably hear some juicy tidbits. Or maybe not. For example, do you want to talk to this fat guy? I mean, who wouldn't want to talk to this fat guy? Ugh. Oh, Mario. Whew. You'll fix me up, won't you? I can't wait, seriously. Not a fan of the blorbs. Although, admittedly, that's not why I'm like this. I just eat a lot of beans. That man is a bean eater, no matter how you look at it. Learn yourself some jumping styles and grab yourself as much of the moolah as you possibly can. That's what we're doing up in here. Hiya! Anyway, how it be? This is Peach's Castle. But you knew that. Like, you're here every other day, my guy. I don't know why you'd need me to tell you that. Mario, how's the jump holding up these days? Knees okay? Honestly, I appreciate the concern, but Mario's not even 30 yet, so I'm pretty sure he's still got some good hops left in him. <laughs> but I think that's the first and maybe only time anyone has ever, like, shown any kind of concern for Mario's ligaments from a life of jumping like that. Have you ever jumped? It hurts! Or at least it can. Especially the kind of leaps he's doing. Like, that's gotta be murder on you. That intern just that just passed by here... Man, she was cute. Hey, man, take a shot. You never know what's gonna happen until you do it. Ugh. Not the conference hall. Conference hall is over there. Thank God for it, because my phleb is absolutely clogging this hallway. All right. Also, Peach's chair. Oh, we can't stand in it. Unfortunate. It would have been kind of neat, though. See this? Yeah, save block. You see one? Jump to hit it. Trust me, save whenever you can. Gives you peace of mind. Save often, save your sanity. My uncle used to say that all the time. A wild one, my uncle. Anyway, it's okay for Luigi to hit blocks too. Why wouldn't it be okay for Luigi to hit blocks too? Why is everybody in this kingdom so incredibly rude to Luigi? I don't get it. Head to the conference hall. The meeting already started. Well, hot diggity dang. Let's see what on earth we can even do. Ah, Master Mario and Master Luigi. The deadly duo, the dream team even. We've awaited your arrival. Let us resume the meeting. Now then, going on what little information we've unearthed, and Luigi is already bored out of his gourd, and in a matter of a three, two, one, he's out. The cause may be a mushroom sold by a local merchant. Oh dear, a mushroom? You mean to tell me that a mushroom causes the blorbs? Well, yeah, we interviewed all the blorbed toads we could, and they all said they'd brought blorb mushrooms. Huh. Blorb mushrooms? Perplexing. Not a local variety of that, I'm quite sure. Well, I mean, if we all suspect that eating a particular substance is what's causing this disease, maybe we should set out a bulletin telling all of the non-afflicted toads to maybe not eat them? I mean, granted, that doesn't really do a whole lot for anybody already afflicted, but, like, that should cut down cases, I feel. Yeah? Seems pretty clear-cut to me. What sort of rapscallion would sell such a thing? Well, according to one witness, it was a fellow in a cape. All signs point to the suspect not being from this kingdom. Well, whoever he is, he's our only lead. So it's decided. Let's go find him. Master Mario, Master Luigi, your hour is at hand. Go forth and stomp this fellow as if he were Bowser. You said the magic word. Did someone just page the king of awesome? Who uses a pager anymore? Peach! So I'm an outcast, huh? What'd I do to deserve this? To hell with your conference table! What are you doing here? You're in an important meeting. The kingdom's in danger. <laughs> Gee, pardon me. Guess what? I live here, your royal genius. I got just as much a right to be in this meeting as anyone. I mean, right? Help me out here. Toadsworth, back me up. That, uh, that's, uh, well... Don't be ridiculous. You have no right to be here. Get out. Reflexes! Crud! 
Are you seriously trying to start with me again? I hear about this big meeting and I'm all ready to act nice. But man, the second I see your face, Mr. Nice Bowser is gone. Yeah, forget your dumb meeting. I'll pummel you and grab Peach. Yeah, because it's worked so well for you the other couple dozen times at this point. Let's go. And whoop! That's exactly one of those instances where I'm going to have to do something like that. <laughs> Mr. Mario! Your first battle in some time! Shall I refresh you on attacks? Nah, man, I know what's up. Also, man, Luigi's one hell of a heavy sleeper to be <laughs> dozing through all this mess. I wonder if that's going to be a plot point in a future game. Nah, that'd be silly. Ah, but of course not! As if Toadsworth could teach you about battling. Not like he's going to stop trying at any point, mind you. Regardless, all you gotta do is pop upon their heads, just like so. I must mention one vital bit. When you attack with a jump, you can stomp your foe twice. Sh shall I explain that? I just did it, bro. Ah, that is our Mario, so very wise. Seriously, do I look like I don't know what I'm doing? Mario keeps fit. Perform jumps as you did just now to land a second time. You must time that second button press well. Remember this. Out of the way! Again, old men, septuagenarians, what dang! Nice try, Buster Brown, but it ain't gonna work. Not today. Master Mario. Oh, this is crucial. You can dodge Bowser's attacks like you literally just did a few moments ago. Uh, care to hear about evasion? Nah, I'm good, bro. Very good, Master Mario. This gargantuan lout phases you not at all. Shut up! I'll burn you too, Blabby! Seriously, why would you outright talk smack to... <laughs> Like, with an earshot of Bowser. If you jump and dodge a foe's attack, you as you just did, you'll escape damage. Time your jump well when your foe attacks. Remember this. Yeah, yeah I know. Now scoot your boots. I've got some mad hops to perform. I mean, are you seeing this style? Are you seeing this grace? Not only is Mario whomping this dude, he is absolutely styling on him at the exact same time. That takes a certain level of awesome. Oh, all right, well, that's what happens when you screw up the second button press. But yeah, I do love the Mar Like, almost all Mario RPGs require some sort of timed button press for your action commands. It just always makes combat so much more fun and, you know, engaging. I love it. And hoofenga! You might want to maybe learn yourself a new move or three, my good sir. Because right here, right now, you ain't exactly impressive. It's almost like this is a tutorial or something, and everything is done to make things as easy as humanly possible. But that'd be silly. What happens? Where are my skills? That was not my A game. That was barely my D game. I mean, I've lost before, but not that easily. Yes, it was my star power and Peach's wish power that we've always all the time had. It weakened you, didn't it? What? What? Since when could you do that? All right, Peach. Let's clean up this mess. I'll just use my telekinesis that I always all the time be having and using all the time and we'll totally see more of after this. Bye, Bowser. Thank you, Mario. <laughs> I mean, I make fun. Peach has always had some kind of ambiguous, holy esque magic in a lot of games that doesn't really have a lot of explanation but the ability to literally weaken people like that that that's a new one that's a new one you saved me once again thank you i mean that I, I appreciate the kudos but you're the one who literally just yeeted him out of the roof so uh i don't know i feel like this was a team effort bare minimum okay but i ain't complaining about that uh. yeah all right you know what that's cool We now check in on Bowser. Currently nursing his wounds. Hey! Hey! Wake up! There's the old lug. Hurrah. That ought to fix you up. Those guys make me so mad. Ugh, it does not end like this. I'm going back to that castle and kidnapping Peach for real. Unless Mario's there, in which case he'll once again kick. Don't say that name! Just thinking about it makes me rage. Whoa, chill out, dude. God damn. Take yourself a chill pill. I'm out. 
I'll chill nothing! I'm going to Peach's castle right now. Wait, where am I anyway? Good question! And this, ladies and gentlemen and everyone in between, is basically the major selling point and one of the most beloved aspects of this game. Now, it's true that in other Mario RPGs, Super Mario RPG, The Thousand Year Door, and Super Paper Mario specifically, have had a playable Bowser in one form or another, generally he's kind of a side player to Mario, just kind of letting go of his biases and hatreds in order to just kind of go after a common enemy. Very seldom is Bowser himself, honestly, kind of the entire main draw of the game. And I mean that quite literally. While the Mario Brothers take a very noticeable role in the proceedings, and they are going to do a lot, we're, we're going to be playing as them, obviously, quite frankly, the story pretty much revolves entirely around Bowser, and the Mario Brothers just kind of play second fiddle to him. Which is just so novel and amazing. There's a ton of boulders scattered around here. Use X to shadow them and you can find your way through. You'll see what exactly I'm talking about. Like, if, if, if this is new to you, you've never seen this game before, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is basically the Bowser show. And I am absolutely here for it. Because that is just, like, with the exception of, like, you know, Mario Kart and the like, you, you don't get to play as Bowser. You kidding me? This is awesome. Your grouchiness. This is a pretty dense forest. You ought to be able to use Y to burn trees with your fire. Careful though, if you breathe flames for too long, you'll get all tuckered out, and then you'll need a nap, and we, we ain't got time for that. Also, hey, what's a little wildfire or three? You think Bowser gives a dip? I assure you, he do not. Also, that is really fast-acting fire. I mean, yeah, sure, okay, waiting around for an actual wildfire to completely peter out would be a little silly, but regardless. Anyway, what the hell was that hooded, hooded little specter? Whoa. A winner is you! Eh, win what? Yay! Jackpotting! <laughs> Your burliness, what's going on? The customer has luck! And with luckiness comes a tasty lucky shroom! A lucky shroom? I didn't even buy anything, what's this about jackpotting? Do not have worries for details, no! Do not have the worries! Have the wonderful lucky shroom of tastiness instead! Scarf this down and your luck will power up to super luck. Luck enough to beat Mario, which I know is a thing that you want to do, and that's not suspicious. Beat Mario? Seriously? I say to you, yes! With every attack, lucky hits will shower in a happy waterfall. You will have such fury! Your strongest enemies will fold like napkins who are crying. Your beefiness? Dude is weird. Don't eat that thing, seriously. What, didn't you hear him? He'll help me beat Mario. Uh. That's all Bowser needs to be swindled. You, weirdo, give me that lucky shroom. Oh yes, of course. Enjoy the eating. You've got a mushroom of dubious origin. Seriously, this thing looks more nefarious than a normal poison shroom. Yeah, who could have foreseen any of this happening? What's wrong, your queasiness? I told you not to snack on that thing. Hey, you creepy little weasel! What did you feed Bowser? <laughs> Such easiness! So easy it gives me the gleeful chartos! And yes, to those who may not be privy as to who this lad is, this is Fawful. He was the comedic henchman of the first Mario and Luigi's game's uh, main villain, Cacoletta. He's back, and he's the own, he's the main villain now, and, uh, he means business. I have such strategy! And now for the leaving! You are having a date with Peach's castle! Well, that's certainly less than good. Well, that's one way to break up a meeting. Seems like it's pretty much adjourned by Boogity. Should we cancel it? Mm, young man. <laughs> There's no need to be down. I say, young man. We're facing a national emergency. That's a different song. If we cancel the meeting, nothing will get solved. Absolutely. The Blorbs are more pressing than Bowser. The meeting must go on. 
Mercy, you are the princess. <laughs> Take heed, gentlemen and star. That's how one does things. But we surely can't use this ravaged room anymore. Shall we continue someplace a touch less demolished? How precisely Bowser got here so fast, I don't know. But, uh, let's get in results now. He's basically gained the power of Kirby. No power copying, but, uh, quite frankly, I don't think he needs it. He's got his, he's got his own skill set. Luigi, no! Man, imagine falling asleep at a conference table and waking up to this happening. And... dead. Friggin' rip, dude. I have victory! Easy as bread sandwiches! And now for the proceedings with the plan I have planned. Made by a scam! Fawful calls you! Of course, Lord Fawful. Well, ain't that just about the craziest dang thing you ever done did see. Alright. Oh, oh, oh. Accidentally hit that a little too early. Alright. Well. Definitely not my top 500 things that I really wish would have happened in my lifetime, but here we are regardless. Alright then. Well, well, well. I mean, I don't really gotta spell it out to you guys. You, uh, you kind of already can tell exactly what's been going down. We're just gonna have to... We're, we're just gonna have to roll with the punches on the weirdness of this situation. And right now, just go ahead and maybe focus on trying to find everybody we're missing. Hello up there. What in the name of Globin? Strange to uh, meet you, oh visitor. Some call me an emo Globin, mostly because I'm not a big fan of living, of secretish things in the body of Bowser. I know them all. I can impart this knowledge to you if you have the Globin. And I have emo Globin brethren. Hit them, oh jumpish creature. Being stuck bothers us none. For s or rather struck, I mean, both of those technically apply, whatever, for such is the way of Globin. Anyway, oh traveler, about what are you curious? The nature of Globin? The meaning of Globin? Brrr, I tell you nothing! But I will let you save since your Globin reminds me of me. Want to save your Globin? Yeah, sure, all right, I'll save my Globin, whatever the hell that's even supposed to mean. Mario got inhaled! Oh, unfortunate. By the way, oh traveler, like all things, I am temporary, so be careful-ish. I have an extraordinarily low life expectancy. Woo! Hey, let me go! Oh, hey, wow, we already found somebody. Now, release me! Ugh. Not how to treat a lady! Ugh, quit it! T tickles! Ugh, the less said about this entire situation, the better. We'll leave it at that. Quit it! Now! Don't worry, little star lass. I shall help you. One way or another. I'm Mario. I'm pretty good at improvisational skills. Uh, Globin! I am a wandering emo Globin. I come bearing knowledge that you probably could have figured out for yourself given enough time, but hey, whatever. Oh, strange pipish thing I see. How I long to press down on the D-pad upon you to sink down below. For then I might fly skyward, or perhaps travel to far places, like a twilighted realm, perhaps even. There are many pipish types. Oh, traveler, when you find a pipish thing, please press down on the D-pad. Remember, or be forever globbin'. See you globbin'! Mario really is good at just kind of rolling with any given situation. More people would probably have, I don't know, a stronger reaction to everything that's currently going on. But he's been around and done so much at this point. It's all basically old hat to him. It's like, yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> I don't exactly know what happened, why it's happening, how I'm gonna get out of this, where anybody I care about is currently located. But I mean, this is just Tuesday for me. Let's be real. And hobbity hobbity whoop! I found a cute little orb thingy. Mario, you saved me. Dang straight, it's what I do. Mamma mia! Watch out, here it comes! Lintigo. And I don't think so, nerdlinger! I'm about to absolutely annihilate your face! Boom shakalaka! 
Mario! Hmm. Yes? I was watching that monster attack and noticed something. I think you could deal a counterattack to that thing. I think you were watching that thing a little too closely, Starlo, because if you were paying a little bit more attention to moi, you might have noticed that I just did that. Know how to counterattack? I sure do. Oh, right. You're Mario. You're an old pro. But I'd better explain the numbers next to this heart mark over here. I mean, what are the odds of you being able to figure out what that could mean? This HP represents your physical health. When you take damage from a monster, this number goes down. When your HP hits zero, you pass out and can no longer attack. When your HP gets low, select item from the command blocks, okay? In this case, you have a mushroom in your item area to restore that HP. Noted. Here it comes. Don't worry, I got this on lock. Boom. Okay, so another one may have suddenly come up into place. That, that is unfortunate. But far from unsurmountable. That's one of the most cool and fun things about the Mario and Luigi series. If you're, you know, just good enough, you can actually avoid taking any and all damage in any given situation. It's kind of awesome. Oh yeah, I forgot this part. You can also run from battle. When you want to run away, choose flee from the command blocks above you. Don't flee too often though, since you tend to drop coins as you flee the battle. Oh, and if you press A quickly over and over, you can flee faster. Remember that. Noted. Huzzah! We've got all sorts of good stuffs. As you can see, the screens really are designed to be <laughs> kind of vertical downular, but I, I want you guys to have, you know, as much vision on the action as possible. So this is just how we'll do. Like for the most part, like the top screen right now is literally nothing but Bowser just chilling down there. Thank you so much for saving me, Mario. Like I say, is what I do. So, what's up? Huh. I'm pretty sure we're inside Bowser's body. That's creepy on so many levels. After Bowser inhaled me, I woke up and wandered around. And then that amoeba thing grabbed me out of the blue. I love the gibberish talk. It's so great. Hmm? The others? I don't know. I didn't even really understand I'd been inhaled until I realized I might be inside Bowser. And yet, despite the fact that we were inhaled, we're not currently in his lungs. We're not even in his gut. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. I bet everyone else is in here somewhere, but right now I have no clue where anyone is. A most ponderous problem. Yeah, definitely inside Bowser. I am here every other Thursday, so I know what the place looks like. Don't ask about my hobbies. They're none of your business. Who knows how in the world that happens, but one thing's for sure. If we don't find the other soon, we're all in big trouble. Not just because of the stomach acids. Yeah, you're right. We'd better just press on. Someone might be nearby. That's certainly the long-term hope of it all. Tally-ho. Let's see. Some call me an emo globin with safish qualities. Ah, yes. Okay, fine. I shall save once more just for the sake of it. Just for the boys back home, I dare say I can manage that. But now, whoop. Let's go. Now you get yourself big bunker dude. There you go. And with proper timing, you can best your foes in a matter of moments. And that's only gonna get consistently more viable the more you do it. Cause that's gonna make our stats go up like no one's business. And I'm all about that stuff, whoop. Let's hey. go. All right, well. No first strike this day. Unfortunate. Ah. I appear to be a little bit more rusty with my action commands eh, than I assumed I would be. Which is odd for me. Normally, I just kind of assume I'll always be at the worst of my possible game at any given moment in time. All right, well, that's fine. That's fine. Just gotta shake off that ring rust. Also, it's a good thing Bowser inhaled so much money because that's just a thing. <laughs> I mean, the implication is that he really did just inhale just about every physical object he could find on his way back to the castle, so I mean, I get it. And now that. Now one more. Hup. Now, admittedly, the weird little amoeba creatures that be living inside Bowser's body, I have no real explanation for those. Or the fact that they're so Goomba-like in their qual qualities. I mean, they even have the big eyebrows and shoes. Why on earth would... Yeah, a Goombule. 
Is this something that's inside everyone's body? Is this something Mario has inside of him, too? Is this just a natural thing? Is this an unknown pathogen that has found its way inside Bowser's body at some point? There are many questions that we are not going to have answered anytime soon. Some know me as an emo globin with a kindish heart, for I always soothe the soul and heal the weary globin. Shall I hear yo heal yours? A wise decision indeed. Stand right there-ish. All right, quite frankly, I don't think I'd want to be covered in or consume any of the substances I find inside of Bowser's body. But it worked, so I guess we have no place to complain, now do we? Until next lobin. So yeah, watch out for the orange ones. Yeah, I'll find all sorts of cool things all up inside this body for whatever reason. Tally-ho! Another big old bonkin right up to your face. And that's how you honk and do that. Oop. Nope. There you go. Just perfect it, and you get the whole thing done in one round, easy peasy styles. Bonk. You better believe I'll be taking all that stuff. Oh, hey! Oh. It's our lad! Luigi. Man, that looks thoroughly unpleasant. Hey, Luigi, what are you doing goofing up, off up there? Starlo, not but two minutes ago, you were in the exact same situation. Oh. What to do? Mario, we have to help. Jump up and grab his leg so we can pull him down. Holly -oop! Boop! There you go, buddy boy. Luigi! Luigi! Come on, come on. Wakey, wakey. Mario! <laughs> oh. That's just adorable. He gets! Demon spawn! Mario, jump and stop him! And now the game officially teaches you about first strikes. If you stomp a monster to begin battled like just now, you'll deal instant damage. This gives you the upper hand, so use it often. Why you invade our personal space this way? You know, you guys will need to work together to get far. Yeah, well, it's a good thing to have a bit of experience doing that. Hey, by the way, Luigi, you remember how to attack? I'm sure you do, of course. You attack with B. Mario uses A, and Luigi uses B. Make sure not to confuse those two guys. Don't worry about it. This ain't our first rodeo. It's not even our second rodeo, as a matter of fact. We once teamed up with baby versions of ourselves. All right. hook -tow. All of the enemies will telegraph with their various attacks. You just got to figure out the, the rhythm of the whole situation. But in a lot of situations, you can just have both brothers counter at the exact same time, and it, it works more often than you'd think. Wait a minute. Yeah, these monsters telegraph their attacks. Want to hear about it? Nope. Oh. Okay. I forgot to mention, Luigi, you also use B when you de defend yourself. You use B when counterattacking, using items, everything. Use it well. She just had to make sure to be able to say something or another. She was not happy about the fact that we were not letting her talk. Uh, and bloop. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, in this case, the, yep. You just have to look at where their eyes are pointing. That tells you where they're gonna be going. Yatta! Yay, more free stuff. I am all about that life. And for some reason, that activated a pipe. Ow! The back of his skull. Uh. Even inside Bowser's body, there are enemies to fight. Hey, Luigi. Hey, boy. Have you seen Princess Peach anywhere? I had my head stuck in a jellyfish. What do you think? Hmm, not you either, huh? Looks like she'll be tough to track down. As if that were ever not the case. Oh, right. Good thing I planned ahead and gave you guys access to the star menu. Oh, yeah, the star menu lets you track all kinds of useful information. Want to hear about it? No, I'm good. Wow, are, are you sure? I really think you want to hear this. Sure you won't listen? Nah, we're good. Okay. If you lost any HP in that last battle, remember you can restore them with an item. Oh, and you can see where you're going with select. Need an explanation? Nah, really, I'm good. Nah, I should have known. You look like you're okay. Well, if you get lost, you select. Okay then, let's go look for Princess Peach. Yay! Teamwork! Anyway, the star menu is literally just the pause menu. You want to look at your items, your equipment, your info, the map. There you go. Easy peasy styles. Don't even worry about it. 
I'll dig around in those menus when they're actually relevant. How about that? Huh. All right, well, I screwed up the first strike, and that's always a bit of a bummer and a half. But that's okay, because we've got teamwork. And that's always going to save the day. Uh oh Ow. All right, well, I was used to its other attack. I, I was not prepared for it to, you know, shake up the system a little bit there. That, that one was on me. There we go. Okay. Now hit him with the old Bapadoo. All right, and Mario levels up. Heck yes. I got you. All right, so now's a great time to bring up the stat spreads for these two. This is the case with the first two games as well, but I always like bringing it up because they make an effort to diversify Mario and Luigi as characters. Mario has more SP, which is what we use for special moves. He has a higher attack stat, and his speed is faster too. Whereas Luigi has more HP, defense, and stash, which you can just consider the luck stat. So basically, Mario's comparatively a glass cannon, while Luigi is a stone wall. And I think that's really cool. Now, if you really want to, you can switch that up. By using the bonus roulette, you can make yourself have a little bit more of any stat that you want. I personally like to kind of continue to lean into the whole glass cannon stone wall thing, so I'm going to be sticking with that for now. However, given my absolutely abysmal luck, I'm expecting to get a... Okay, I got a three. I was expecting a one. It, it goes anywhere from one to five, and the more often you try to go for a specific stat, the less likely it is for you to get those big numbers. So you, you want to pay attention to that. Howdy, oop! Oh, come on! That one threaded the needle. Well, regardless, Mario is now doing roughly double the damage that he... Yeah, no, like, literally, just straight up double the damage he did before. He's able to annihilate fools all on his own. So that's pretty dang swell. So, yeah, Luigi isn't going to be able to really bust out the big heavy hits compared to his bro, but that's okay, because he'll be able to take significantly more damage. And, uh, look, I like to fancy myself relatively decent at this game, but the bros are definitely going to get walloped a little bit. It's just going to be a thing that happens, and we're all going to have to accept that fact. There we go. And da-da-da-da! The inside of Bowser's body makes absolutely no biological sense whatsoever. But, I mean, I guess it's to our advantage, so whatever, I guess. I don't even know if that particular elevator system ever shows up ever again. Very weird. Wow, looks like Bowser inhaled all kinds of junk, huh? Let's hope some of it turns out to be stuff we can use. For example, this box that has a has the mark of a hammer on it. Seems pretty likely that, uh, might be some hammers in there. Maybe in this wooden crate, if we could break it open. Hmm. We just might be able to pull that one off, I'm gonna be honest. And even though Mario and Luigi have been able to break significantly sturdier structures by jumping on them before, that particular crate seems to be made out of sturdier stuff. Go figure. And that one wants me to hit the A button, but I ain't got time for the A button. Doodly doodly do! You got a trash pit piece. Now find nine more, you nerd. Ah, yes, a load-bearing block. Oh, was that an attack piece? So Bowser swallowed some of those as well. What you talking about, Starlo? Huh? You don't know about them? Uh, attack pieces are fragments that form special attacks. If you collect all ten of the attack pieces, you'll be able to use that special attack. What's a special attack? Well, I'll tell you later. How about you go and get yourself one before I give you the deets? If there's one attack piece here, I'm willing to bet that there are others nearby. Unless he miraculously just didn't inhale all of them, which, honestly, I feel like should be more likely than it ends up being. Regardless, yes, let's go find them. Huh. And get myself some syrup! Syrup restores your BP for special moves. If it wasn't clear, the game is, uh, about to teach us about special moves. Later special moves are a little bit more complicated to collect all of the pieces for. We're still firmly in Tutorial Junction, everybody. But do not worry, we will escape it soon enough. Then we can just go straight into the pure on action. And bally hoop, bally hoop. And bally holly holly hoop poop, I say, I say. Doodly doodly doot. Doodly doot, doodly doot. 
I had literally nothing to say while I was collecting all of those pieces, so instead I just created a weird little ditty. I don't know why I did that. But I apologize for it. Anyway! Boom. Shaboom! That's all the dang thanks! All trash pit pieces found. Special attack gained. You got all the attack pieces. Awesome, now you can use a special attack. Special attacks are powerful offensive battle moves. If you get good at using them, you'll dominate battles. Granted, the first one is extraordinarily unimpressive, but you gotta start somewhere. This one is very familiar to anyone who played Partners in Time. Green shells! We have access to a demo. Eh? Hey, check this out! Out of, uh, out of the menu, you can practice your special attacks. You can watch demos, too. Practice and watch all you like. You want to watch a quick demo before you try it out in battle? Nah, it's literally a green shell. They are not complicated. Remember, you can watch special attack demos anytime out of the menu, okay? Girl, I know it. Don't you worry. Mamma Mia! What are the odds of that? Perfect timing! Enemy is immune to your jump attack. All right, you two. Give them a taste of that special attack. Go. I am all about that. Mario, Luigi! Now you can use the special attack formed by those attack pieces. Want me to explain how to use it? No! Oh. Okay, good luck. Have fun with all that, I guess. Let's friggin' go! All you gotta do is hit the buttons with the right timing and hit them with the big damage. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. Nice. Boink. All right then, one more for the road. I think this is literally the one and only time in the entire game we fight anything like this enemy. It exists for no other purpose than to demonstrate how to use the green shell. You can practice your special attacks or watch demos whenever you want. Just choose demo from your star menu, okay? Try it later on. You know it, girl. Heck yeah, more free stuff. I'm all about that life. And there you go. We duns it. Go us! We learn in all the styles today. Yeah, well, how quite unusual. Usually hitting boxes do- Oh, okay! It ain't a Mario RPG unless Mario's swinging around a giant-ass mallet. I don't know exactly when the higher-ups of Nintendo agreed upon that philosophy of- if Mario is in an RPG, be sure that he can use a hammer to attack things, but they stuck to it. Can't say they haven't. I bet you could break all kinds of things with those hammers. First, you switch the action icon to your hammer with the R button, and then you slam them, jam them. You just know they'll be useful all over the place. Try it out. And easy joke is easy, but hammer time, nevertheless. We gonna be slapping things silly is what we gonna be doing. For example, this thing. Ha! To hell with it. We'll just slap things all around Bowser's bod. Who cares? Although I am deeply concerned about what on earth that is. Did Bowser inhale an entire egg? What kind of egg has things looking like this? That's just weird. They're like spinies, but I don't know, made out of wasabi for some reason. Mario, if you stomp on this guy's spikes, it'll hurt. I know you're wearing worksman's boots, but since when has that ever been able to help anybody not get hurt feet? I'm serious. Jumping on it would be very bad. Instead, you ought to do is uh, use the hammer. Want to hear how to use it? Nah, I'm good. Man, I don't get to do anything. Be careful not to attack with a jump by mistake. I'm sure I will at least once. Anyway, it's all just timing base. You want to hit the button at the apex of their swing, and then they do big damage. All right, well, that was almost it. We need to go back a little bit more. Nope, that's not going to work. Just a little bit. Oh, boy. Okay, see, the thing is, if you hold on to it too long, the attack fails entirely. So if you don't have confidence in the ability to get excellence, greats are more than good enough. Mario! Same deal on defense. You can't stomp on the spikes to counterattack. 
need to defend with the hammer. Luckily, the game will automatically know which attack the enemy is going to do and set that up for you in ahead of time. Should I explain? Nah, we're good. You're okay then? All right, it's harder to defend with the hammer than it is to jump, so be careful. That's just your fancy way of saying the timing is a little bit stranger. Huptanga! All right then. Now, I would very much like to get an excellent. There we go. See, that's what we were looking for. Now with Mario? Nope. No, well, the enemy's dead. That's all that really matters at the end of the day. As long as that's working out for us, that'll do. Yeah. Man, Luigi, you really need to level up, boy. -o. Your your bro is literally doing triple damage over you. All right. And so we shall. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, bum. That should help him out a little bit. But I dare say we'll focus on defense for the lads. And not a one, 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 not a one. and I got a one. <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's just gonna happen. Luckily, the game doesn't punish you for having abysmal luck like I do. But it's okay. Luigi still got his stat ups. He's good. No worries. And Pasu! Now he's up here. Oh, Lordelu. So many baddies trying to cause a bit of old commotion. A commotion of the ocean, if you will. We ain't about to have any of that. Alright. Now let's see here. Luigi, will you do more than two points of damage with your full power swing now? Okay, yeah, it's looking like you probably will. That's all I really was asking for. Not a whole lot. Huh. There we go. Probably won't take out the enemy, but that's okay. Ow. Okay, see, that's what happens when you screw up entirely. Watch out for that one. Although the fact that a screw up was ultimately the same amount of damage as how it used to be when you just did it successfully, that's a good sign. That's a good sign that his attacks are going to do a little bit more now. Alright. Just really got to get that dang timing right. Get out of my business, you! And none of that. Absolutely none of that. Okay, no, seriously. Okay, five. See, there you go. All right, that's a huge improvement. Boom, Jagalaga. Although that said, I'm still totally fine with Mario doing double damage. But, you know, again, absolutely not being able to take a hit. It's a neat little, you know, back and forth kind of kind of teamwork thing they've got going for themselves. It's a dynamic I actually implement for my own original characters, with one of them being the speedy, you know, strong one, and the other one just being an absolute tank. Okay, just making sure I actually use the hammer here. There we are. Gotta be careful! Don't want to accidentally horribly injure myself. Intentionally, on the other hand, well, that's an entirely different kettle of fish now, ain't it? There we go. Okay. Oh yeah! Granted, I prefer jumping to hammering, but sometimes you just gotta use the dang hammer. It's just a thing you're gonna have to do. I don't think so, good sir. I don't think any of that is on the table today. Yeah, oh, boy. And whoop! Alright. Now, none of that either. There you go. Hit him with the hip-hops! Alright, well, I was hoping for a little bit more than that, but that's fine. And Mario is literally one EXP point away from being able to level up again. You hate to see it. Oh well, sometimes that's just the way it's gonna be. Looks like we finally made it out of that messed up area. Now we can go to a different messed up area. Hmm. We may be able to access some other areas of Bowser's body. The circles represent places we can probably reach. Just follow the paths to get to where you want to go. Move with the, uh, you know, D-pad and all that jazz. Or you can just touch the circle you want to access. I wonder if there's a place where we could get ready for what lies ahead. Hmm, maybe if I stare at this very obvious image right here. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. But what are the chances? I mean, really? <laughs> of course, before we go into there, you're gonna have to wait for tomorrow. 